Okay, so this video is on the physical construction of the pneumatic foot lift uh, actuation kit. <clears throat> so normally <clears throat> on the sewing machine obviously you'd have some sort of lifter foot or um, knee lifter uh, pad that operates the foot. And this is not from this machine, this is from the Juki 1541, which is uh, which you'll see when we install uh, this kit. <clears throat> um, but this component will be there already, you know, with this, this arm, just like this. And we just take this arm out. Um, and then I use some um, 3 8 uh, by 16 uh, thread per inch. Um, rod stock, threaded rod stock, and I bent it at a 90 using a vise, and then I put uh, two nuts on at the top, you know, to do the lock. Uh, then there is a um, a heim type joint, and then I have a, a nylock nut down here. I mean, you could put whatever you wanted there, really. And this component you might already have if you've done one of the uh, servo motor, clutch motor to servo motor um, changeovers. You might have one of these pieces from your old motor, which is what would hang hang the motor. So these would certainly work. Uh, these won't fit in, in the himes that I'm describing, but you could get himes that would fit these. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to have to, uh, in the description, put the specs on the heim and the pneumatic actuator. I'll, I'll actually have all these components uh, down in the description. And everything you see here in this particular video can be purchased from Princess Auto here in Canada. Um, so this pneumatic cylinder is a dual action, so it's a 25 by 50 uh, double action, double acting cylinder. So it has two ports. Okay, this one controls the foot up, this one controls the foot down, and this has a flow control valve on it, whereas this one is just a 90. And that's because the flow control valve will actually control how fast this cylinder um, is able to evacuate gas because it evacuates from this path as well back to the solenoid here and then vents. So this is how you have adjustable um, foot down control. The foot will come up really fast and then the foot will come down uh, slower so you're not banging banging your uh, machine bed and then what's what's fixing this is just a piece of uh, angle aluminum I use aluminum you could use steel you could conceivably 3d print a part as well and then uh, some quarter inch lag bolts two of them to hold it up you know redundancy and then I think this is a uh, 5 sixteenths bolt uh, that goes through with you know some washers and a, uh, a nylock nut on the other side so you know pretty shit simple you do need to have this area free which is why having the servo control box moved as far off to the side of the machine as possible <clears throat> is uh, advantageous okay and then standard uh, I think it's quarter inch pneumatic uh, push to connect hose and that will move to the solenoid. And I will show you the solenoid here, the dismounted one that's going to be going on the Juki 1541. So the solenoid is, again, I will link the product in the, uh, in the description, um, but it's a dual acting. So it has two, it's a, it's a five way, but it has two uh, electric solenoids on it that are, those are these components. Um, Okay, and they come off very simply. So you can mount this and then take the electronics off and work on them and then mount the electronics on after and you'll see that. And there's these detents. And so you can orient your electronics however you want. There's obviously a common ground and then two signals, one to each uh, solenoid and this is meant to be operated one at a time, not both on or both off. So um, having a normally open, normally closed switch is ideal or using a relay with 
uh, you know, a regular switch. These pieces right here will manually operate the spool valve on the inside because it's electro-pneumatic. There is a pneumatic component to this valve as well. Uh, and that is the physical valve and that's inside here. Um, that operates the, the spool in, in, in the center. Um, as for fittings on the solenoid, two of the push to connect straight out, just Teflon tape. You can use silencers here. Um, these are quarter, or sorry, eighth inch NPT uh, silencers. And then a quarter inch as well, so quarter inch here and quarter inch up here. And I just have to a quarter inch male, I think M type brass fitting for push to connect toes. Okay, and that is mounted through the table with um, two two screws. I used two and a uh, half inch uh, construction screws from Home Depot, and I use these. Um, you'll see them in the make in the making video, uh, but you'll see. Uh, Aluminum ferrules that provide standoff that keep the solenoid away from the table so I don't have any issues uh, operating the um, a pneumatic chuck behind the machine. There's no binding. And then obviously power and uh, communication switch to the, uh, the trigger, the switch. And I think that's going to do it for this video.